Why do you wear high heeled shoes in the middle of the forest? I, I don't really get that. You don't do that. Oh well, let's get this. Bibi Bing, a tarot card. Anna Graham. She was a mate? Huh. Ha ha! Oh! Pickled stuff. Great. Mmm! Pickled stuff I found in the woods. Oh. Mm, not really. Let's explode this. Bam! More stuff. Oh, more pickled stuff. Uh. Wait, there's more. More pickled stuff. Okay. Anything more? No? Oh. Oh well, well then let's... He's just swirling around like... La la la. Just stupid FBI agent can do all the work. La la la. Aww. Meh. Is this pickle stuff respawning? I <laughs> can't carry any more pickled stuff. Oh, well, let's put it in a trunk. Yes. Oh, I can skip this with start. Wait. What the hell? Okay. Is this intentional? I can't imagine that this is really how they planned on doing this. What? Okay, I move to. Okay, fine. <laughs> I have the feeling I will never run out of food in this game. Because I found the secret pickle stuff, the generating place in the woods. <laughs> the shepherd must think I'm damn crazy. Ooh. Who? What's this? A ah, piece of wood with rusty metal dust. Okay. Now we know what happened in the first part. Okay. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. These holes on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan, I see what happened here. Hung her from the tree and put on her shoes. She was really enjoying it. Sicko. Put on her shoes, you idiot. Knelt down. And, and disgusting. George, you certainly have a vivid imagination. Yes. An interesting theory. Don't you think, Zack? Don't you think, Zack? Uh, what was his name again? That Hollywood producer. Stephen King? That's right. Joel. Joel. We really ought to introduce George to him, Zack. Profiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. Let me enlighten you, George. The footprints reveal that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. Mm -hmm. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. Oh. Furthermore, there would be even more disgusting evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. Yes. If you want proof, go 
ahead and try it for yourself. <laughs> a note here for a reason other than simple perversion. Zack, what was he doing in front of Anna? Praying because she looked like a goddess? Profile She was dead already, dear. So this was Anna. Okay. Now I get it. He was kneeling to pray in front of her. Just like the twins said. She was a goddess. Why is it so Anna was transformed? from an object of despite into one of worship. So who is Miss Stiletto Heels? The steps are close coming up to the body and then farther apart going away. There was a reason to hurry away then. That settles it then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. She could be another victim who was with Anna. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. Okay. She <clears throat> is also one who took whatever it was Anna was holding on to in her hand. But why? Why did she leave her here? Plus again? Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason for that. How many women wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? Oh, I should think most of them have at least one pair. I do too, before you ask. Ooh. But nobody would come all the way out here wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. Don't keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? Diane. The owner of the art gallery. But she's out of town for a big art auction. I heard she'll be coming back in a couple days. Then we'll just have to give her a warm welcome home. A more immediate Aww. matter, then. Where in town can you find something like this? It should be a building that isn't used anymore. With either a lot of metal or metal machinery or something like that. The old lumber mill. Yes, what I was thinking too. Then it's time to really get this show on the road. Could you guide me to this perfect setting for extravagant murder? Perfect setting for extravagant murder. <laughs> How many videos did I record so far? This is the third one. Well. Yeah, getting we doing pretty good so far. Yes, pay me, pay me. Please don't put out the console. Well, I still have some time since it's only the third video. So I guess I will drive at least to the sawmill and then the we'll mill see. Is pretty far from here. Oh. If that's where she was killed. Why would the killer go to all the trouble of carrying her all the way here? I don't know yet. My profiling instincts tell me one thing is for sure, though. The unsub's personality is totally different before and after the crime. The unsub killed her in a brutal, horrifying way, and then displays powerful adoration after. That could well be the key to all this. Okay. I will say this, though, George. Profiling is a risky business. 
Of course, if the unsub planted those stiletto footprints himself, well then, everything I've just said falls apart. But there's no evidence that he left those stiletto footprints. To thank for those tracks. <laughs> All I can do is deduce the unsub's feelings in light of the evidence and carefully figure what the is she unsub's doing MO. Modus operandi, his way of thinking. It usually unveils something that a normal forensic analysis may overlook. That's my way of profiling. It's not for everyone, but it works for me. Is she singing? Okay, where the fuck do I have to go now? Oh, that's fine, I guess. Mm, yes, that's doable. Episode 1 Murderer's Place. Whoa! I have unlimited health and petrol now. Okay. Why? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Bad idea! Bad touch. It's totally bad. <laughs> Why can't I drive to the white? Thank you. Common sense can be very opposite of facts sometimes. Bear that in mind. I'm trying. I just don't want to die. I'm <laughs> sorry. I have to go this way, oh. Sheesh. Why is the music some sometimes really loud and sometimes I'm hearing myself less than the other people? It doesn't make any kind of sense. Oh well. this let's get out oh what's up Zack the investigation mess must go on okay I am Zack now I know it <laughs> I am Zack I'm pretty sure about that well he wants me to think that I am Zack well, perhaps Zack is his dead brother or dead son. I don't really see him bearing a son. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> Ugh. Anyways. Take me to the limit. Da, 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 da. I'm driving like an asshole. Like it. Mm. Right, I have to drive down. Let's go. Find out if the facts will be trusted. Yeah, try not to die on the way there. That would be great. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a car there. Car? 